Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castro back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we've got a tutorial focused video on how to remove booth noise and actually a high pitched tone. It could be mic feedback, it could be preamp feedback. I don't really know where the feedback came from on this vocal, but I'm gonna show you how to remove it using the Pro Q3. And then I'm gonna show you how to remove that booth noise and breathiness with the Pro G. So we're gonna be using Fab Filter plugins today to clean up this vocal. Now you heard the vocal affected in the beginning of the track, but this is the dry vocal part that we're gonna focus on. Mm. So that's the cleaned version. And I want to show you what it sounded like before I ran Fat Filter plugins on it. So I'm going to group these in Ableton Live and just bypass it. And this is what it sounded like to in the beginning. Mm. So there's all kinds of weird noise there. There's that high pitched noise. And really that was the focus of why I was trying to clean this vocal to begin with, that high pitched noise, that hum. But there was also that little bit of noise from the booth and the breathiness. And I was like, well, well I can clean that up too. Now in the mix, you're probably not gonna hear that booth noise, but I like to, I'm a perfectionist and I like to clean stuff up as best I can, if I can. So that's what I was doing here. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So what I'm gonna do is, delete these plugins and let's just start with the Pro Q3 to get rid of that hum. Um, so the cool thing about Pro Q3 is if the audio is playing and you hover over the spectrum, you'll be able to grab certain points of it, certain peaks of it. And let me just show you what it is. Mm. So I'm hovering over the bottom here. Mm. You see how it's turning purple? Mm. It's also showing me peaks. Mm. So if I double click right here, I'm actually gonna add an EQ node. And this will, you know, this is a big peak right here. It's actually showing me all the fundamental peaks here. Um, so it's easy to add an EQ node here with the help of this. But what I wanna do is just go ahead and maybe loop this part where it's just noise and that high pitch sound. And you can see here, I've got the harmonics of that high pitch sound right here. And using Pro Q3, if I hover over down here, Now I can easily grab the top of that. You'll see that the little ball there is actually snapping to different points of it. So if I come up here and make sure I'm at the very top and then just double click, I've added an EQ node exactly where that peak is. So I can change the EQ node to a notch filter, boost up the Q, and if I bypass that now, you'll see that we've already gotten rid of the, the like kind of the main focus of that hum. So I can easily come over to this next one. And again, it's snapping to that top. So just make sure we're at the very top, double click, change it to notch, boost up the Q. And the reason why I'm turning the Q value up so high is because that frequency of that hum is very, very small. And I don't wanna remove too much of the vocal, you know, the actual frequency of the vocal. I just wanna remove that hum. So now I've got two nodes. Let's add another one down here at this, this one. And again, notch, Q. And we pretty much got rid of all of it. You, this is still here and I can get rid of it if I want. It depends on how uh, surgical I wanna be, but let's just bypass it now. You see what I'm do I've done there? I've almost completely removed that hum. I've definitely removed it enough so it's not gonna be distracting in any sort of way inside of the mix. And I feel a lot better about it. So I can close Pro Q3 now and let's listen to it and see if we've you know taken too much out of the vocal. Mm. All right. So already a big improvement, but we can go a little bit further if we want to get rid of this booth noise and breathiness. So I can come into the Pro G and you can put this before or after the Pro Q3. And what we want to do here is just adjust the threshold and the attack and release times until we have the vocal being allowed to pass through, but getting rid of the noise floor. So it's already pretty much done, but I might pull up the release just so it's a little less abrupt. Mm. 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 And I might pull down the attack just so we're not you know, cutting anything off of the transient of any of the vocals. Because remember, this is gonna be on for the entire vocal. Mm. Mm. And that's it, that sounds good. Maybe a little bit more on the release. Mm. So 
boom. And this is actually better than the example I had in the beginning <laughs> because of uh, my work in the Pro-Q3. But if we go ahead and bypass it now. Mm. So before, mm. after. This is a really clean vocal. And the thing that's really cool about that is I can let that set of plugins right out for the entire thing or i can automate it on and off for because the mic noise or mic hiss wasn't a, um, a, apparent in this part of the vocal over here so i can actually just you know automate this off and just use it on this part right here which which actually had that hiss and that booth noise but that's how to do it uh the heavy lifting here was definitely done by the pro q3 and its ability to grab those eq points easily while hovering over the spectrum inside of here so anyway that's just a quick tip on how i cleaned up this vocal for this project and i figured it might be helpful information for somebody i hope you learned something i'm joshua casper here for plug and boutique links to these plugins and the sample pack I used for this track in the video description. Click those, check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.